Jimmy K here, Metal Voice. Look at this. The Metal Voice shirts are now on sale. Just go to the video description to find out on how you can purchase one. Metal! Hey, it's KK. Happy Halloween. I'm at the Chilla Fest in Possippany, New Jersey, and I'm with the members of the Lucid. Dave and Drew. You might guys might know them. Guys, it seems like you have a little bit of a super group by your hand. You got Mike Heller, mm -hmm. an amazing crazy drummer. Mm -hmm. You got you, your past speaks for yourself. And Vinny Dombrowski from Sponge. How did right. you guys all come together? Was this... Let's not forget Drew from Bang Tango. Well, Drew, oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 again, Drew from Bang Tango. to be a big interest today because he did a movie about uh, Which Bang I, Tango. I, yeah. I watched quite yeah. a few times. He's the only guy who would make a movie about how dysfunctional the band is and then join the band. I just came in to use the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. And he's the guitarist <laughs> in the Lucid. Now, the Lucid is, I hate to use the term super group, but are you guys no, going to... Don't use it, then. Are you guys going to tour? <laughs> is it a touring band? Is yeah, it a, there's... Look, people... Shows? You know, it's funny. We... Drew, quite honestly, he calls me one day, he goes, hey, I'm going to change the uh, header on your Facebook, and he puts the L logo up, right, and apparently made international news all the way to Al Jazeera and everything else, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, people seem to be interested, so thank you for that, I appreciate that, um, and then from there, you know, we started, you know, popping some songs out, just to, just to you know, test the water, see what it's going to be, because we plan on put, releasing it in October anyway. And, um, yeah, speaking of English, um, and so from there, it just, people seem to really like it, and, and phone was ringing to our agent, and so he's actually booking some shows for us now, and um, what we're doing. stuff overseas as well, so, um, you know, the, I hate to say super group, and I won't, but the one co difficult component of this is everybody's off doing their own stuff. see Sponge is touring yeah. right now. Exactly. Mike, Mike's with uh, Raven right now. Right. So. And most of, look, this year, and even you guys are busy. Year, is all kind of rescheduled from 2020 right. and 2021. So, you know, it's a little bit of a throwing darts at the map to see what, what works. But yes, there's uh, definitely some live performances in the loops. Now, this was his baby, and he bought it to you? Pretty much. I mean, it's funny. I was actually making the Ellison No Cover record, um, and uh, Drew said, hey, you want to uh, play bass on the track, which was the song that became Hair. Okay. And he sent it over, and I played on it. I was like, this is really cool. And he goes, do you want to play in some more? I said, sure. So he sends me like 35 more songs <laughs> in a Dropbox. And I'm like, that many more? Okay. So, But th the funny thing is, is you know, just moving. He and Mike Keller had been, I'll let him tell the story, but had been working on it. And I kind of was brought into it. Just so it was him and Mike, Mike first. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we had a leftover uh, a demo from uh, this project we had from a couple years ago that never got finished. And uh, and that ended up becoming here. And, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, we you know asked Dave to play bass on it for kicks. It was just the one track, and then it's like, who are we gonna get to sing on this thing? And then the first thing that popped in my head was Benny from Sponge. And then uh, so none of us knew him, so I found an email on his website, sent him an email with the with the track, like, hey, you know, want to you know sing on this? Here's who was involved in all that. And then the second it hit send, I realized why I wanted him to sing on it because it sounded identical to his Sponge song. And so I sent him an email really quick. I was like. Don't worry about it. I apologize. I just embarrassed myself. This sounds way too much like the song Wax is Static from Sponge. And so I delete the song from Dropbox, who doesn't hear it. And then he writes me back, just man, I don't care to send a song, you know. So I, I sent it, then he sent it back, it's called Hair. And it, we were like, holy crap, you know, it's, it's, it's really cool. Then we were like, want to sing in some more? We sent him a Dropbox full of like 35 songs or so. And then, this is how uh, Drew works. He sends it, then he takes it back. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. It's like the great takeaway. Yeah. The car is for sale. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's not for sale. Wait, <laughs> I want the car. Yeah, exactly. That's That's how we, yeah. I used to sell cars too, so I was like, I don't We know his like, ways now. Like, no, you don't want that. It's, it's a little bit. Yeah, it's too, it's too much power. Yeah, it's, it's too much awesome. <laughs> so now while this is going on, are you still in your other Megadeth? I was. In fact, I just there? come home from Nashville recording the bass parts, the bass and drum parts. Oh, oh, April 20th, I think. It was, yeah, April, April, May. Yeah, April, 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 May. April May. I guess so that would have been a little ahead of it. Um, but yeah, we were in Nashville cutting tracks. So I mean, you know, it's funny. Um, as wacky as uh, COVID was, I, it was my best pandemic ever, quite honestly. I, I, did, I did four records, wrote another book, uh, did a movie. So uh, I had a very productive, a very productive season. Yeah, 2020 was actually good for me. Now, um, you're also doing a movie. Oh, yeah, Dwellers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, please. Shot it for a uh, camera moment. See oh, yeah. what happened with this. Uh, this I, is, uh, you both worked on this? Yeah. yeah. This I, is mainly I, his baby. 
Yeah, it is, yeah. I mean, he just calls me up and says, hey, you want to be involved in this? I'm like, sure. And you know me and my motto, just say yes. All right, I'm in. Why not? Yeah. 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 Movie, sure. Shot it for uh, zero dollars over five non-consecutive days in 2019. I say I cobbled it uh, together out of love and levity. And it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a super fun thing. It's pretty much Chud that ever shot like Blair Witch. Chud was the old uh, 1980s, early 80s movie, Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dwellers. Dwellers. I saw on Metropolitan Avenue in Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah. I so do remember going. At the, at, the at the theater, I do Man. remember going to see this. I am here. And what better place to yeah. unleash a new movie is the Chiller Fest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Especially, you know, in the East Coast near New York, where Chud lives. So now, what's what's next for uh, everybody? What's next for the Lucid? And That's a good question. Well, so dates are being booked. We'll be announcing those. Um, you know, it's funny. We actually have a nice little Dropbox full of new ideas, uh, for the new scene, which is fun because I think when 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 something starts working, and people get excited about it. You as a band member, you get excited, and uh, suddenly you're picking up the guitar and playing. Um, and and so it's it's you know we're doing that, and then. You know, Dwellers, all this stuff just came out. Yeah, it's weeks just ago. recent. Yeah, just literally. Yeah. Lucid's yeah. last Friday, by the way. It's only out a week. Yeah, yeah. all this stuff has yeah. only been out a couple of weeks. Now. So, um, there's that. There's obviously new creative stuff, you know, um, for it. And, you know, then cruising into the holidays. And, uh, you know, things, you know, it's weird in this business and just kind of how this all works, you know. It's, again, a phone call, an email. Um, and one call or email changes the arc of everything. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, I guess we're going down this road now. You know, that's, that's how all this, stuff that's how all this yeah. works. So, like you, you said know, in your book, I mean, that saying yes to things, yeah. like opening yourself that's up why. to a different. I mean, you know, sometimes you can push so hard to make something happen, like I'm trying to roll the rock up the hill, and then out of nowhere, it's like, hey, hold on, one second, phone call. Oh, really? Okay, good. Let go of the rock and let that one roll down the hill because you're meant to come down the path, and there's another path up the, up the hill, you know. So. That's been the story of my life over and over and over. Listen, so you're, you're going to be on another path right now with the, everything that happened with Megadeth. I'm surprised. Uh, listen, this is my personal view, but I think that uh, you were putting your place up all over the place. And, uh, Maybe the boss got mad. I don't know. You, you, you're out there, and I've yeah. seen you with Metal Allegiance. Yeah. I've seen you at the Best Buy Theater with the uh, Metal Masters. Uh, right. uh, I've seen I, you with, uh, I think I've seen you more times without Megadeth, but I've seen you with Megadeth. But you're always out there, and you're, you're a good person. And, uh, well, I, I do all this for the labor of love. It's a passion of mine. I wake up in the morning, it's like, what song are we writing? What record are we working on? And you put your heart into it. I do. I'm, I'm here only because of my heart. That is, that is the only reason I'm here. In fact, we make some money and can pay our bills as we work, you know. I always, when people go, I gotta go back to work, I'm like, dude, this isn't work. Like, you want, you've never had a real job if you think this is work. Like, this is actually, like, we're just goofing off and playing, hopefully we don't have to get a job. That's what I've been saying for the last like, 50 years. Yeah. But Peter Panzer, we have to grow up. Yeah, yeah, and why? I mean, it's like we're doing all this, and, and this is the fun of it, write books, do movies, make records, come over here to chill or sign stuff for people who seem to like what we do. And, and that's, I think that's kind of why everybody's here, you know. Now, does it bother you that they removed your bass tracks and stuff off? You put work into it. I mean, couldn't they have just left that on? Look, you know, it's, they did what they did. Uh, I don't think they had to do that. Um, I asked them not to, but they did what they did. That's the path they chose. And so at that moment, you know, you were hooked from the train and now you start going down you're off tracks and you know uh, when that machine didn't work I got to work doing other things very simple. you did very well the first time after you went out yeah, yeah. And it's, working you know, with PV and then everything else but. you know at some point you know the grandmaster up above who you know is calling the real the big, shots the real boss yeah I mean you know answer to that boss mm -hmm. you know, all will be fine so you know, always say the, the, the good orderly direction you know so just kind of follow that and go on that path so if you ever get that phone call again would you say yes if Dave gets on the line and says hey you coming look I don't have believe it or not people might find this hard to believe I don't have any ill will toward him or them. Good, that's good. I don't really know. I really don't. And, and certainly the fans. I mean, like the fans are all showing up here. Well, uh, everybody's got your back, it sounds like. Well, and don't. I appreciate that. I really do. I appreciate that. And and that's, um, you know, at some point, you know, you've got your whole life to make your first album, and you get about nine months to make the second one, and every one after that, because your fans want more from you. You know, they're like, oh, wow, give me more. Let's make another record. So at some point, you know, the first one you do, just kind of throwing it out there. Believe it. 
And then after that, your fans want to hear more. And, and you know, at some point, you kind of have to always serve what your gut's telling you, what your heart's telling you. But at the same time, it's nice to have people show up and want to hear more stuff. From you. So that and also, do. that's the inspiration. I'm you hoping know, you do more with more this. Stuff. I'm really hoping we can hear more. Yeah, I really do. This there, is, there seems to be more in this the excellent. Like, yeah. If you get a chance, check it out. It's the Lucid. Very good stuff. Right, album number two is in the works already. Um, yeah, that's it. Is. So despite you know the way you know again the way things kind of yeah. break apart and yeah. come together and that you know that other situation kind of breaking apart, ironically provided an interesting juncture for the loose to really shine. Very good. You know, and so some you know, new music and some new ideas. Very good. Everybody, this is Bl we're live from the Chilla Fest in Pawsippany, New Jersey, and Happy Halloween. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Appreciate it.